Hey guys, it's Steve O for Dog Day Gaming here, and I'm back today playing a newly released game. It's still in um, it's still a beta game. Uh, it's called Osiris uh, New Dawn, and I'm just gonna fast forward through all the um, setting up character stuff, and we'll get straight to it, eh? Hi guys. Um, in today's video as well, you're going to be hearing um, Abstract Gaming, or as I like to call him, Cody, my nephew. Um, he'll be, he'll be um, in the background watching me play. And um, you'll be hearing him from time to time, so don't be too worried about it. And I hope you have a fun time watching this. Yeah, it looks like it's just online play. Yeah, it's really good now. And it's really bad because this is a gaming computer as well, so it's gaming. Yeah, look at that. It's just... It's super fast now. I set it at normal. Look at all this stuff. pick up all this this loot that's laying around I guess this is to help you know start off it's not um, easy mode it's not extreme it's just normal mode I said to myself well I can't play easy because then I'm just copping out you know can't play extreme because I don't know any of the <laughs> any of the buttons yet. Um, seems like everything. Now what's this dude? He's my personal assistant. Okay. I missed a few things. Looks like everything yet. Yeah. Much smoother, eh? Let's go and have a look at this thing. I can't seem to do anything. Oh, here we go. Space debris. It's like Minecraft but a space version. Eh? Kind of, it's yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like art, but I think we need a skill. Well, I'm taking stuff. Do now. So I'm curious, this oh, what's this? Yeah. Well, imagine that if, like, no matter what happened to you, if you were stuck and you quit and you go in, you respawn exactly where you are. Yeah. Well. If I put this up, there's something that might. Oh yeah, I just noticed it too. 
Man, I'm taking it apart. This, you know what, all those hours of playing Ark, bashing rocks has prepared me for this. Bash debris. But what, what do you do once you've collected all this stuff? It's like. Oh, well, there we go. Build, craft, mission. Mi mission. Okay, change perspectives by pressing U to toggle between first person and third person mode. Colonize, make landfall, escape from the sand dunes and locate suitable land. Wait up. Could be, could be V. There we go, it's V. I don't know if it's male or female. Because <laughs> I just chose what was there. Yeah, it looks like this is this is the right way to go, I think. Oh, look. Your stamina is your oxygen. Look, as you run, your oxygen goes down. And if I stop? It goes back up. It goes back up. Okay. Oh! See that? Watch this. I, I, I stand here. And I turn, but her feet stay there. You know, she, she only turns around when it. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, uh, We need six. Space debris. Make landfall. Two new missions unlocked. Now that we've made it to solid land, you should build yourself a furnace so you can process raw materials. This will be necessary if you want to build anything more advanced. Find space debris at your craft site or by searching the area with your indicator for fallen shuttle parts. Well, you've already done that. Yeah. Okay, let's go F4. I mean. You require ability furnaces to build a furnace. Well, can't I build a furnace? Oh, come on, man. Um, here we go, we have skills. I need more combat points. Yeah. 
Gary the Aluminium. We need more combat experience, eh? Well, let's go get some. a nice looking world I found a rock I just landed, I just crash landed and I'm out of the escape pod and now I'm running around trying to find things to kill because I can't continue my mission because I don't have enough combat points This is the interface that pops up. Sniper for days. Raining. I've killed a few small bugs. And harvested some aluminium. Because I'm definitely going to need stuff for building. But I haven't come to anything bigger than a, like a fly or something, you know? Whoa! 